Hey guys, so, <coughs> excuse me, I just wanted to um, tell you guys what happened today at Phlebotomy class. This was week four, um, so we are just finished with week four. Um, I got five successful sticks today, so in total I have seven successful sticks so far. Um, our instructor didn't come until about 11, so we were there from 9.30 until 11 without our instructor because she had court. So um, <clears throat> we were basically just working on our group projects, which are due next Tuesday, um, so a week from today. And my part of the group project, my group has urine. I believe I told you guys this already. But my part of the group project is to explain and teach the process of a 24-hour urine collection so I'm gonna talk like more about it as I work on like my speaking points and things like that because we do have to present it to the class obviously um, we did a whole lecture on order of draw and basically how she's trying to teach us the order of draw is by the additives that are in the tubes not by the the departments that the tubes go to um, so we're learning the tube colors plus the additives that are in the colors. So it's a little bit confusing. It's a lot of information to take in and there's a lot of different colors. Um, but if you guys are interested, I can like explain it the way that she explained it to us. And we also did like index cards for the different colors and what the additives are in those colors. Um, and plus... Like there's, there's a lot more in our book, there's a lot more colors that we don't necessarily need to know for our national certification exam. So she specifically left those out of it, which I'm kind of happy about just because um, I feel like the more information that you have to like digest and put in here, it makes things a little bit more confusing and more difficult. So the less information that I have to cram in my head before I take my NHA national certification test, the better. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But yeah, so we basically, in class today, mostly what we did was work on our group projects. Um, one of the members of my group is going to do our poster board for us. And then me and another girl are just working on like our speaking points. And the reason why we're doing that is because the person who's making the poster board has a printer. Like, I have a printer, but it doesn't work because it's a Wi-Fi printer. And for some reason, it doesn't like the prepaid Xfinity. It won't connect for some reason. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. But um, so the, the lady who is making um, <clears throat> our poster board for us, she actually is going to use the printer that she has available to her at work. Um, I think she works at a hotel or something, so they have like a little business office, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it is so super nice outside today. It's like 65 degrees and it's spectacular because yesterday I had to work and it was like 70 degrees outside and I was depressed that I had to be inside, you know. I wish that we could just take our residence outside, but... Anyways, back to the phlebotomy. Um, we took an exam today. I got a 100% on it, which I was a little nervous because I didn't feel like I was prepared for the exam, but I guess obviously I was. Um, <clears throat> and basically the first thing we did was take the exam and then we practiced sticking. And like I said, I did five sticks today. Um, I don't think we're doing any sticks at all next week because every group has to do their presentation and then we also have a big lecture, I think she said. Um, and then we're going to talk some more about order of draw. So the index cards that we made today that has like the tube colors and what additives are in each tube, um, we are supposed to know those index cards, although we are not having an exam or anything next week. Um, I, like I said, I don't think we're sticking either because it's a large lecture. Um, she said they usually don't stick at all that week, um, but starting the week after, we will do five to six sticks per day that we're there. So 
we're gonna get the rest of our sticks in. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I am definitely enjoying this class. I have been looking at different jobs. Um, I actually had a phone interview for a phlebotomy job at one of the hospitals around here, but I totally bombed the interview because one, I was not expecting them to call um, and I just answered the phone and I didn't know who it was. Like, <clears throat> I thought it was um, one of my friends who was in the hospital at that hospital and that's who I thought it was and it turned out to be them trying to interview me for a phlebotomy job. But then also she thought that I was already done with my phlebotomy training and I had to, you know, explain to her that, um, you know, I'm still in the process of finishing my class and that um, I take my certification test in five weeks. So yeah, five weeks. <laughs> I feel like this class is just like flying by, but I guess that's a good thing, right? Um, I'm totally having fun with it. Like I said, I have been looking for jobs. Um, I'm also considering possibly working in dialysis, possibly. Um, I can make a separate video talking more about that if you'd like. Um, I would prefer to get a phlebotomy job in a hospital or a clinic. However, if I'm unable to get a phlebotomy job in a hospital or a clinic, um, I will look into like a dialysis center or a plasma center or something like um, Red Cross or something like that. But I am just so excited that I only have five more weeks and then I'll be done. And, you know, five weeks, I take my national certification exam and hopefully pass it on the first time um, like I did with my CNA exam. That would be great. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, most of what we talked about today was just order of draw. And like I said, we did a lot of work on our group projects. And then we also did sticks um, on the fake arms only because... Um, our instructor wasn't there so we aren't allowed to stick each other when she's not there like her office person was there her office assistant or whatever she is I'm not sure if she's like an office manager or what she is but the person who answers the phones and um, opens the door and lets us in and works in the office she um, she was the only one there until about 11 and once our instructor got there um, we basically just did lecture and graded our tests so but anyways um i'm going to try to enjoy the sunshine today since i have to work the next three days i work wednesday thursday friday and then i'm off saturday sunday monday so i'm hoping that the weather is going to be good this weekend also and i have something special planned for monday so i'm really looking forward to it but anyways, um, I just wanted to share, hopefully you guys are enjoying these phlebotomy vlogs. If there's any information you would like me to go over more in depth, please let me know because I'm not sure exactly like what you guys would like to see. Um, we are not allowed to film or have our phones out in class. We're not allowed to take pictures or anything. So I'm sorry that I'm not really able to like show you what we're actually learning. <clears throat> and you know, it kind of sucks, but I apologize. Um, but I can give you the information that we've learned. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Anything that you'd like me to elaborate on or talk more about, let me know. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.